I feel like Tide is not going to get that much out of it. So he can shut down the Beastmaster completely. There's mind control by himself. He's not able to usually rely on the uh, Anchor Smash against Terrorblade, so he will tank a lot of damage if he tries to man fight against Aggressive. Maybe he does need that extra help. He did drop through. Through. They're actually going to go for Kuro. We'll be able to pop him. First Blood going the way of maybe. There is the Alchemist. Speaking of Kuro. Step is going to try and go for him again. Managed to get the duck. He dives right on by. And a hit and run from maybe as he hastes his way out of there. Dive that they don't want to. Yeah, he can get good solo picks on the Lion, but I think overall in team fights, it's much better with the Blink Dagger. Gonna try and go on Fada again. The Hugh managed to get the Primal Roar on him. Sunrays with the backup, and the pure damage rips through Fada. They now look for a counter kill, but it's just not gonna be fast enough, or maybe it is. He looks back. Oh, long range Timber Chain, but it's not good enough. The Ravage holds him in place. Mind control. His smoke's gonna pop, and Zep actually starts backing himself away while the rest of his team does push forward. Looks like they managed to find one here. Jarek is going to be hit by the stun and be quite easily taken out by maybe. It was smart step to just stay stay in the back. If the call, if the bounty hunter has eyes on him, it's very unusual to have like a two man smoke. Oh, my control there. trying to help out Vada, but they have the sun ray. This ball oh, in the finger of death as well. The burst damage between the timber saw and the lion is too much for the alchemist to be able to handle. It seems like LGD is going to try and get a bit greedy here, both taking the tier 1 at top and defending bottom lane. And as the Phoenix shows, there's a smoke. Liquid will take this fight rather happily. Motumbo Man's going to lead the initiation on his Zhao Wei. They still have the Ravage as well, so this is not a fight that LGD can really try and take. But if they can with the Primal Roar, they're actually getting a little bit of more damage on the top run, and they burst him down! The Ravage is too late, too shallow to catch Zhao Wei. Mind Control lost, and the Sash will be able to barely get the pick up, but now maybe he's going to be controlled by Jarek with that Static Storm and Liquid still pick up the better of the engagement, but considering that was supposed to be Liquid's surprise initiation on LGD and they lost Matumba Man, they are going to be rather disappointed. They're going to get a third kill though on MMY it seems like with a track and the inevitable glimpse back it seems they should be able to get it. Bounty Hunter will claim the kill. Yeah, Magistic just not enough there. A little bit off pace here. Sep is going to be the target, but uh, not sure if they have the burst damage to really get him before Icarus Dive or Supernova. They start backing themselves away. The Hawk is doing some scouting here. And now Matumba Man realizes just how many heroes of LG are actually here. His Invis Rune. The two heroes are off from the side. Oh, the smoke beetle the rune and the rabbit! Five man set up right into the static storm. The anvil gets dropped by LGD. And they take four just like that. An ultra kill for Jerix of all people. And now maybe is looking for the great escape through the trees, but he's already been hit by the track. Liquid not gonna try and go for the dive though. Radiant's Liquid see the opportunity to take a bigger objective in mind. It's being at a, uh, a visit, vision disadvantage. And to slow down the beast pass in an early game. So yeah. it, it served multiple purposes in this early game. Curl will reveal himself as he takes away the Hawk, but now they're going to find the initiation. Mind Control blinks himself forward, but not seeing the opportunity for Ravage just yet. He's just going to leave Matumba Man to go for Zhao Wei, holding on to the Primal Roar, but the Static Storm makes sure that he does go down without an ult use. LGD get a lot of damage on him. Matumba Man now jumping forward with the ear. Icarus dies. Supernova goes out. They need to pop this. They need to do it now. They do get it just in time. The Ravage goes out. They turn on to Maybe, who's going to go down next. And Fada starts go pushing forward against LGD. Aggressive. Tries to fight back. Goes for Jerix. Many of the heroes of Liquid are quite low, but he is at a numbers disadvantage. If he gets popped here, man, to get the thunder off, Fada can't burst him in time, but the finger of death takes him out instead. The burst damage from LGD easily outdoes what Fada thought. He if you're the main tank, I think you want Octarine so you stay alive much longer as opposed to an unchecked Timbersaw, which Shiva's slash Ags would be a lot better. And Liquid kind of is scared at this point. No BKBs up and two BKBs up on LG. Does manage to get off the dark pack. Finger death being thrown on him. Ravage onto maybe. And there's the refresh. Mind Control repositioned himself for an even better one where it caught aggressive. And now they've taken two. Maybe ripped right on through with the Timber Chain, but he's on his lonesome. And he's fighting up against Matumba Man, who's just so damn big. Here comes the Stable Concoction as well, holding maybe into place. But they can't actually go for it. Matumba Man is going to the back line first. He gets September. Now pops the BKB. Maybe will eventually fall, or maybe not. They're just not focusing him down because still has that Aegis. The buyback of the Terror Blade makes Liquid a bit scared of continuing that fight. So if you lose a big team fight after immediately picking up your BKBs, you know you're in a really bad spot. Yeah.
So they need to be able to take out Roche at some point. I think if they can keep up the Roche lead, they can, they can kind of keep up with Liquid Skull that minute. But Tumba Man, oh, they managed to get the Hex onto him. Plus the Impale, they surround him with Zhao. Wait, an easy kill. They suspect that Liquid's around the Roche, but they don't know that Roche isn't up at this moment. They use it in a secret shop. It checked out green, and not sure if they maybe checked it out a little bit late. Oh, another Blink Hex. Managed to get the Hex on him, a tub of man. Now the jump in, Primal Roar from Zhao Wei, but it already pops the Necronomicon, so his damage is going to be hugely delayed. Maybe he's there, but he's also a bit late to the party, and now it's Spot is starting to come in. Unstable Concoction ready to go, but he might just explode on himself as he gets stunned up. Now it's going to be up to my control to be able to play the saving defense. Supernova is too much for him to handle. The rest the Liquid just back out, they're going to leave Matumba Man to its work as he managed to pop his ultimate and TP out successfully, getting the Lion kill, but there was really nothing they could do to save Fada. They played this, uh, this Roshan Ward once or twice, but again, he's gotten that deep, uh, deep cliff ward next to that hard camp between the tier twos on LTD's side. The initiation hex, now finger of death, but the Ravage counter, and they've already taken out one. My control needs a little bit of extra mana, though. Doesn't have enough for his second Ravage, and maybe he's going to be able to get him in a corner. My control is kind of stuck out here, up against the Timber Song, looking to be able to burst him down. May not have the damage at time. Supernova laid out defensively, making sure Liquid won't be able to do much with their Slark. Kuro is still looking to get caught out, and he's got the gem, too. They can't afford this pickoff. He's juking to drive it, but won't be able to make his way out of here. Zhao Wei kicks him in the shin straight to death and gem drop. The Tumba Man immediately goes for his initiation, tries to recover the gem, goes for the pounce out, will be able to make his escape, but wasn't able to grab the gem, forced to pop the BKB, maybe make the long jump in and actually goes for the BKB TP out, lacking in mana. Vada looking for a jump here. CZEP will be able to get that free kill. The gem returned back into the hands of Liquid. So they got a buyback out of Liquid, it wasn't so bad, and now maybe he's gotten to the point where he's I just forced into a bad Ravage that they can't address his Timber Cell issue, but no one can really do damage to him. Alchemist is not good at single target, especially with his build. Maybe he had like a Mjolnir Basher, but that's coming way later. They really want to focus maybe down. Aggressive is sitting on the side. Yeah, the MMY. He's going to get picked off by Matumba Man. He sees the squishier target in my mind control. Holding, holding. Now pops a Ravage to the EKB. Perfect time for Aggressive, and it might just be enough. No! Barely survived through that one. Maybe still going to look for the kill, but Aggressive, during his BKB time, he has to fight up against the two cores. Needs help or maybe the sun comes in, Static Storm not going to be able to get a Thunder off this time. Now it's maybe against the world, all the reactive armor in the world just may not be enough to survive against these heroes. Zhao Wei comes in, unstable concussion, lands on him though. Primal Roar goes out, but it's too late, and it's just clean up time for Matumba Man. Give me those stacks, he says. All the stats in the world, as now Liquid will take the extra life as Aegis should go into their hands. Yeah, LGD want to try and uh, see if they can get the initiation on Liquid. They have an off sword at this point, His though. His smoke is going to be the first one. Pops doesn't have the quick reactions, though, to get off the Necronomicon. And now the fight's going to go nasty. And there goes the first Ravage. Doubles it up, but the aggressive managed to get off the BKB. Jarek's in the background, still holding on to that static storm. While Fawn is going to be focused down by the Chakra. They are burning through all this one. September with a successful uh, Supernova. Going to be able to go through the back line. While Mind Control gets taken out by Aggressive's right click. They look for more. Finally, the static storm laid out. But Mind Control is not going to be safe for this one. Gets the pounce over the cliff. And that might just be enough to be able to get him to safety. Maybe he's going to be on hot pursuit, though. This is one. Chakram gets the second one. It gets him in the end. The triple kill for maybe. Wow. Liquid. How in the world did they win that team fight? They had that vision on the high ground, and LGD just. Maybe even more. There's no tier twos. LGD might just be able to win this game outright off of one single mistake from Liquid. That still blows my mind how they were able to win with that much gold deficit. The gush, the harassment coming out from Liquid. They're trying to slow this one down, keep it at just two lanes of rack, 20 seconds left on the Slark. The Thunder goes down, full out heal from Aggressive. He knows his cooldown's gonna be up potentially in time. The Static Storm goes out, but not able to hold the heroes in the glimpse. Not in the right position either. They get the melee ranks, will retreat, leaving the range to lie, but it doesn't matter. The damage is done. Gonna need a second round of Necro books. I think more, even more important than the roar. Holy cow, that might is really kicking into play. Disruptor, given the axe, actually has a refresher. And this will not be revealed in the next team fight until perhaps it's too late for LGD. They've already beaten through half of Roshan's HP. 
They have themselves really well spread. Immediately, Matumba managed to slink in, managed to get hacked. There goes the Ravage, up, down, hard. And now their manager's gonna be able to take out two. The uh, pressure goes out. Jarek's looking for a second static storm, and he's gonna be able to catch the Grizzly alongside the Ravage. They're gonna try and pop before the Thunder has an opportunity to go up, and they will. Three down, LTD now starts throwing out the buyback. Supernova is going to successfully explode, though, and maybe we'll capitalize on that one. He sees Jarek's an opportunity, has him cornered, will be able to take him out with at least a chalk from as he burns through. No, he has to actually timber change through the other side and Liquid, they've gotten yet another pick off. Jarek's in the background, will eventually die here as aggressive. Looks for more of these heroes. Fada, he's the low one and he's the big core that he desperately needs to be able to take out of this fight. Phantom goes away, TP out, he knows they have no disables, they only have raw damage and it's not enough. Liquid escape, they don't lose a hero and now Ryan's gonna get picked off as well. Matama Man found that one. Somehow Liquid. They force that fight, they get the right kind of initiation, locking down aggressive with the refreshers that they had. But it's not enough as LGD buy back and will be able to potentially still take a Roshan fight. But it's in a danger zone, they lose any one of these heroes and that could be the end of the game. September tries to get away with the mash, is there! And he gets taken out! But Tumpa Man keeps on right-clicking away, now on maybe, turns that aggressive again, pop the PKP, gets off the thunder, but it's not much HP at all that he has to get off. Gets hit by the Unstable Kugash and he's down! 100 seconds, maybe locked inside the Static Storm as well! And that will just be a straight out! Death from Timbersaw, he has a buyback, but no aggressive for a minute and a half. You can't imagine that Liquid made it a lot of damage at this point. Like, yeah. Terribly doesn't, just doesn't scale with items, he also scales with the opponent's items, and they are very far. Illusion pops. We start going for the melee racks. It may be worth it for LGD to continue to try and slow stall this one out. Nope, they're gonna make the initiation. Tries to go from a tumble man, managed to get off the dark pack. The Rabs goes down, refresh and reassess. Looks like Liquid are gonna try and go back in, but they're scared out by aggressive BKB. And there it goes. Pearl just gets popping his dagger. Now the jump in. Re Ravage on the aggressive. They're gonna be able to pop him. 80 seconds on the clock. Round two. The static storm that glimpses back will be able to catch that weight. Jotham going in town. Maybe he can't do it alone, though. He needs some extra help. He's being beaten to death by Matumba Man. React Barber being damned. He's just getting the stats up. We'll go for Zhao Wei. Just fought back. And maybe he's taking a die back too before he gets off the primal roar. Maybe he just doesn't put out enough damage against this team. Not by himself. The Sunray can't save him. He has a buyback, but it's just him and Seb against the world. And not even Seb can stick around. It's a glimpse. Catches him, pulls him right back in. Liquid takeout four. There's a buyback. It's now up from aggressive. But will it be enough? These two heroes against the full five mana liquid, and they're healthy too. The Chemical Rage has brought Fauna back up to full HP, and Matumba Man's passive has almost done the same as well. They're gonna go for the second lane of ranks at bottom. And I see Liquid pinging out on their T4s are scared of actually getting thrown at this moment. They really are. They're gonna TP one back already. That's gonna be Fauna. The jig is up. Yeah, he definitely is. Only one of the smokes pops, but that's all that's required. Now they're gonna be able to see Timber saw as well, even getting the track onto him. And creeps are up in base. Time to start hitting towers. Yeah, they've got the arcane rune still on mind control, so they want to try and make use of this if possible. The opportunity is set up. Aggressive is going to be initiated on him. Matumba Man will see if they can get the combo. He managed to get off the Sunder. Manta his way through with the BKB. Will be able to make the escape. The Ravage off the mark for mind control, but he's got a do over as he refreshes. Looks for the initiation. Good force down save from Matumba Man as he managed to get the pounce away. Liquid defending their heroes beautifully as they start backing themselves out. Offensive GG. Maybe it is. It's Liquid. They may just be able to end this one. Fada lower, lower. Dagon almost finished up entirely. Rage kicking in the play. Gets off the Shiva. Is he going to survive? from this, he will! Underneath the static storm, LGD can do nothing! A power chain away, Supernova up, Liquid can't force it in time, won't be able to take out the egg, and Pearl almost burns to death underneath that one. Liquid, three versus five, they see the opportunity to be able to get a glimpse as well, Zep isn't going to be able to make it out of here, this is going to be left entirely up to maybe to try and defend. Liquid, how can he possibly do this with only the magic damage and these hyper regen powers of Liquid? He can't actually burst through anybody. Yeah, Liquid. Yeah. Liquid know that they, they, they have it too. Yeah. They use just a solo ultimate onto the Terra Blade, knowing that he doesn't have buyback and they just have little fight left in them at this point. They certainly do. They're going to be able to jump on him maybe here, beating him down with the back.
Smasher BKB activated by maybe as he tries to make the jump away. Unstable concoction thrown out for MMY as the rest of the team focuses on the racks. The tier fours are in a bit of trouble though. Back at base, my control will defend that one. And now the numbers are a little bit more even, but it's three versus four inside the LGD base. And maybe he's the only damage dealer, and he's already down to half HP. Matama Man meeting through, almost finished off, and he gets him in the end. A thunder strike from Jarek. Finishes off the big carry of LGD. Two minutes down, and Liquid will slowly right click their way to victory here on the main stage. Lower bracket kings and teams is now that title is passed over to Liquid as they've made their way from the beginning. Drop down by MVP and they do O's all the way now as they've made top three. An impressive run from Liquid and I think a good run from LGD too. I don't think that people consider them the second strongest Chinese team coming into there and I think you